Joe Hatters, it's uh, Nathan Jones, manager of Luton Town, promoted to League One. Congratulations and what a feeling it has been here at Brunton Park this afternoon. Oh, wonderful. You know, uh, we started slowly. Um, to be fair, we got punched on the nose again and we had to recover from that. But once we recovered from that, I, I, I thought we were, we were very good. In the second half, we were, we were much better. We took the game to them. Um, and I said, on, on a balance of play, I think ch you know, chances wise, we, we had more chances than they did. Um, we could have been, could have put it to bed a lot, a lot earlier. Um, and then obviously they could have nicked it later on with, with, with an opportunity. But I'm absolutely delighted. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of the, the, the club, the fans, the boards, especially the players, because they've had to go out and do it. And look, it ain't easy being Luton Town. It ain't easy playing the way we do and go into these, these things. And, and when we turn up, it's a big game for everyone. And we just showed some character. We showed quality. We showed everything we needed to show. And I'm, I'm so proud of them. I really am. How much pressure was there on you and the boys going into this game, knowing that uh, it could be done today and that that was what the aim was? Yeah, it has been. It's been look, it's pressure on Luton wherever we go. That's what we're saying. It's, it's a real pressure on us because we demand from ourselves, but you know our fans demand from us, and and it, it, with a big with a big pull, you know, Portsmouth had to cope with it last year and did fantastically well, and we've had to do exactly the same. And uh, and, and look, I, I I I think they've been absolutely magnificent. I really do. Look, Accrington have, have been phenomenal in terms of the points tally they, they they've had. So we haven't been able to do anything about that. But we've we've been excellent. We've been a wonderful side to watch. We've been a wonderful. We've scored goals. We've attacked. We've we've played a wonderful brand of football while developing younger players. I'm so proud of them because they they've, they've been excellent. And I said the fans once again were outstanding. And to come from behind once again to take the draw that proved so decisive in the end that was key, wasn't it? I mean, in an early setback, James pulling down the, the forward there for the penalty. No, no arguments about that one. No, there's no arguments about that. But it's a start really because we didn't we didn't get off to the best of starts. You know, we weren't pressing. We weren't. They, they matched us up, went to a diamond, and and they out battled us a little bit and out grafted and, and we didn't get on second balls and we didn't we defended a bit deep and that, that ultimately culminated in that in, in, in the goal. And then once we we then got that, once they got that, then we were better sighted and we, we came out a little bit. We started to play a little bit more. We said second half, we've, we've got to use our wits slightly more, you know, slightly more, and we did that. And we said we had a number of opportunities second half to have, to have done that. And look, I'm just delighted because if I'm honest, I was probably going to bring Ollie Lee off, so uh, he's, he's stepped up at, the, at just the right time. I mean, a decisive goal, wasn't it? And at a, at a great time, and a little, uh, exactly the same time down at St James's Park, Crawley have equalised, uh, but actually was what's helped us to, to get the promotion this afternoon. Well, yeah, it, it, to get the promotion this afternoon, Crawley has helped, and a credit to them. They've treated the game well. They haven't been on holiday and, 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 and so on. That's a credit Harry Kewell, his coaching staff and his players down there. They've gone to a difficult place, got a result. Because they're a good side, and it'd be a travesty if they finished the season, you know. Because they've been a wonderful side to watch this season as well. So credit to Harry Kewell, and and, and we just, I think that's the glory, the, the, the beauty of English football. I, I think not many people like, you know, teams just turn up and just go through the motions because the culture demands it, and that's been shown today. And I, I said I'm just delighted. Look, we've we've earned the promotion because at the minute we've been the second best side in the league, but we've been a wonderful side, and we've we've really gone out and tried to play a good way. And, and I said, I'm so pleased with, with not just the promotion, but how we've done it. How difficult was it not to be wanting to know what was happening elsewhere as, at the time that we were drawing here, knowing that it, it could be enough? Well, we did know. That's what I'm saying. We had you know, Darren Kipman had a, had a phone on the thing because we, otherwise we'd have gone for the win. You know, so we were kind of stuck rather than twisted. And we knew that a point was good enough. Uh, I, I, even if we'd lost, I think it would still have been good enough because the goal difference was massive. But we would we'd rather done it mathematically than than just rely on that and the, the uncertainty going into those games. And look, we can we can uh, we can enjoy now this time and then prepare for a massive massive occasion back at Kenilworth Road. And, and I said, well, I'm so pleased, I'm so proud of them, and I'm proud of our football club because we've we've come out of this in a real good light, and I'm I'm so pleased. I mean, it was quite obvious when the players finished. They, some of them weren't sure exactly where we stood because I could see like James Shea and others sort of looking across the Luton fans. Is it definitely done? I mean, that feeling of realization that they had achieved. It is, and it's surreal. It's a surreal sort of feeling and, and weird because they, they had, we had a free kick down here really late on. They didn't know whether to say, do we take it in the corner? Do we put it in the box and try and score the winner or what? But you know, we, we tried to get a, a message onto them that, that there was enough because Exeter had finished and so on. And I've been in those situations. I've been lucky enough to have for five as, five promotions as a player, one now as a manager. Um, and and I've been in that situation with this edgy, and it's, it's brilliant. It really is. If, if you the can neutral, say that now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for, for the neutral, it's 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 even better. But for us, I mean, we come to a difficult place because these, with the players they got, are, are a really difficult side to, to come up against. They've got good experience. They've got talent in in, in the whole squad, and we've you know, we've had to come here and, and do it. 
real hard way. You know? And you talk about the hard way. I mean, a corner in the last few seconds, their goalkeeper's come up and the cross comes in. I mean, that was almost unbearable to watch and commentate on it. Well, what it is, I mean, looking at it now, we're, we're thinking, well, good, because we've, we've had to deal with that before. So when we debriefed and we, we went through scenarios that if this happens in the future, so you're standing there thinking, well, let's see if they've learned, you know, and everyone picked up before people didn't, and everyone just latched on, picked up, ball came in, one header, he's won, and delighted, absolutely delighted. I mean, it's a wonderful occasion for the football club. We had a goal here when I first came, and we've, um, Stu reckons we're a year late, but I don't think we are. Uh, in terms of that, if we'd gone up last year, then you know it, it, we we wouldn't been as prepared for League One as we are now. But we are prepared for League One, and I said we're as a football club we can enjoy this, but we're not going to rest on our hours. We're back in work Monday, and we'll be prepping for for not any kind of mediocrity next year. And at the end, the final whistle's gone. I mean, the players off the bench yourself, everybody's come over, and what an experience and. Uh, what a feeling to celebrate the promotion, as you've said, in front of 1,400 travelling fans. And you've got to enjoy these times because they're few and far between. You know, as I said, six promotions I've had, but I've been in it not far off 30 years. So if you have one every five years, you wouldn't take that from anything else. You know what I mean? If you had a kiss off your wife or girlfriend every five years, you'd be try you'd be you'd be struggling. You know, so to, to do that is is a wonderful, wonderful achievement. And you've got to enjoy it, and we'll enjoy it. We will make sure we're ready for next week, but we'll enjoy it. Five of our players have, have been honoured in the PFA again. Um, we've got a, a, a night tomorrow with the supporters, which we'll enjoy in the right, right manner. But you've got to enjoy it because they've worked tirelessly. This is not just a, a 90 minutes or 60 minutes of, of hard work here. This is a, a duration. We came back in June. We were, our mindset was promotion. Our mindset was, was, was right there. And they haven't veered from that. They've some, you know, disappointed at times, but they took it in the right way. They've created an environment that's... It's amazing, and I'm so, so pleased they're really A couple more games to enjoy, but uh, a big one at Kenilworth Road next week in front of what will be 9,000 fans, won't it? And it'll be just fantastic to, to celebrate with them after today. Yeah, it really will. And as I've said to the lads, we, you know, we'll, we'll celebrate and we'll enjoy it, but I want to finish, you know, make sure that we don't go out with a whimper next week and, and so on, because there's still something to play for. You, really, you know that it is. It's, it's difficult, but there's still something to play for. Um, but. We want to make sure that the fan, our fans have suffered enough. Our fans have, have been through a lot of, can't say the word really, but they've been through a lot, a lot of turmoil and stuff. And they deserve someone, and they deserve someone that cares about the club, and they've got him. You know, I, I love the club, and I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about my work. I'm passionate about what we do. We do good work. We've got a great environment. We've got a great club. We've got a culture here that's to be proud of, and I want the fans to, to enjoy this. I really do because they've deserved it. They've stuck with us from day one. You know, we've had a couple of little oohs and ahs and, and groans and stuff and we've but we've come through this together and without them we couldn't have done it and they're the best fans the, by, by a mile they're the best fans in this league and as good as any I've come across a very very proud day to be a Luton Town fan Nathan thank you so much for everything that we've achieved you've achieved the, the squad well, the we've management achieved, team yeah, the, everyone together. everyone is a club it's a club it's a, every single member of the club from the cleaners to create an environment and a culture there that's that's conducive to winning football matches and to and, and, and to producing good players and we've done that you know, everyone, Peter Kemp, you could Gary Sweet, Kevin Platt, everyone, you know, without singling anyone, everyone has worked hard, even the media team, you know, and, uh, who, who have better hours than everyone else. But even them. <laughs> Thanks very much, Nathan. Cheers. Cheers. Where, where does this kind of rank on? You said the five promotions of the player, now one as a manager. Where does it rank this on? Is as good, this is the best day, it's the best day of my life because as a player, you had it and, and you just took them for granted at times and stuff. And, but this is the best. This is the best thing because uh, the sleepless nights, the work that we've had to do, everything we've had to go through, and it's you know I was part of a team there. That this is this is my club. This is, this is my club. This is our club, and I'm so proud of us. And uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful day, wonderful achievement. You know, and, and, and I said my, my fiance is at home, and she was crying when I think because she probably she, I think she was just relieved that she's not going to have another sleepless night. But you know, she's been through so much. My family have because they know how much it means to me in the moods. And, and this is a wonderful day and I'm not overplaying it because trust me a 46 game season plus the cups and stuff to go through it to, to manage it and to come out at the other end is a wonderful achievement and I'm I, I, I'm so proud and when Pelly went through there did you think that was going to be a decisive moment when he had the one-on-one -on -one? well you never know Pelly I'd have preferred him to have it from about 80 yards out and have a shot but uh, but look I would love to have won the game and, and to, you know and, and so on because we continued our run but the big thing today was just to get promoted and we got promoted and that's the main thing.